okay so what is there in this question let us see the magnitude of the resultant of two forces acting on a body is 12 newton which pair of forces acting on a body can combine to produce this resultant now this question is taken from the chapter of vectors and there we find the resultant of two forces and there is this uh, characteristic of the resultant that the maximum value of the resultant when two forces are acting on a body will happen when both of the forces are acting in the same direction so i can say that it will be equal to f1 plus f2 and similarly the resultant minimum will be when two forces are actually acting opposite to each other one person is pushing the body into right another is pushing the body into left so they will get subtracted so minimum value will be f1 minus f2 to explain it i can just make a diagram here you see this is f1 and this is f2 obviously the resultant is maximum and in this case this is f1 and this is f2 so this is going to give you the minimum resultant so we want the magnitude of the resultant of the two forces is 12 so which pair can combine to produce the resultant so it means that the resultant has to lie in the range this so this not at all this now see one force is 14 one is one so the maximum can be 15 and minimum can be 14 minus 1 that is 13 we need 12 so even this is wrong now what about 5 and 6 see the maximum value these two forces can produce is 6 plus 5 which is 11 we want 12 so even this is wrong and when we talk about d the maximum value is 7 plus 6 that is 40 newton and the minimum value will be 7 minus 6 that is 1 newton so this is the range in which the 12 newton is lying so our answer will be d so this is professor varun please do subscribe to my youtube channel and do share the videos and the youtube channel with all your friends try to gather as many friends here as possible so with this all the best